What's good, everybody? It's your boy, JR. Brian. Isaiah. Thank you for joining us at Nerds at the Watchtower podcast. We are the Eclectic Nerds. Thank you for tuning in. Before we get started, as always, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Share and tell somebody something new and tell them about us. All right, off the bat today, we're going to talk about story arcs from comic books that we would like to see live action or animated. Mm. All right. As always, we always see certain inspirations in, in MCU films and DC films, a bunch of little inspirations and bit, tidbits and whatnot. And it's a mixture, right? It's an amalgamation of multiple things, but we want a pure from page to film, page to animation story arc. And these are our top choices. Indeed. Starting us off, Isaiah. Let's go. Let's go. So I got one in particular that we were talking about right before we started recording. Uh, Boom Studios, High Rangers, literally anywhere. Start anywhere. I would prefer Shadow Grid, but start anywhere, bro. It really don't matter. Boom Studios, OD, fantastic. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, That's some writing right there. Yeah. S stupid good writing. Um, really getting the characters down to their... Like core. to their yeah to their core being, but also giving them like a little extra that we didn't get from the, sh the shows. like from the shows, just yeah. because the shows were targeted to smaller kids and stuff like that. I feel like the Boom Studio stuff is just a little bit more not mature and like a you know like everybody's bleeding all over the place or whatever, but like just mature and they like we're gonna uh, tackle these characters like they're real people. Right? They, they wrote it for the fans, yeah, the yeah, fans that yeah. grew up and they did have their own liberties with it, but I feel they expanded the the lore. To a point where it's like there's something missing right right mm -hmm. we we've had turbo the movie we've had the the power Rangers, uh movie earlier on in the in the 90s we've had you know once and always the 2016 one the 2016 forever one red. forever red certain certain episodes mm -hmm. have always kind of stood out but these stories that boom studios is doing and kudos yeah. to boom studios sure. man higgins you did an amazing job um very good very good bro like from the very beginning, right? They start us. They start us off right where Tommy kind of entered the team, mm. and they touch base on that. Somehow, if once you read it right, we we go into it and we get into Shattered Grid. Spoilers will be in this, so if you guys don't want to listen, it's been out for a minute. It's been yeah, out. Bro. You guys are late. Sorry, well, we're not gonna apologize. Let's be real. If you're watching this channel, you already read it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we expect we expect you to at least <laughs> because it's a requirement actually, if not unsubscribe. Please. Before I read it. Proceeding, so if Shatter Grid is pretty much an alternate universe, right, where Tommy wins, mm. kind of travels through time. Well, Rita wins and then Tommy says, psych, mine. Yeah. Right? Overruled. Right? I've been playing in the shadows, Black Zetsu style. Yeah. And <laughs> Naruto <laughs> reference. And now there's a new character name, Lord Draken. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that story, even when he was acquiring certain powers, it was heart-wrenching to see other rangers go down, man. Yeah. And and even more so, it was heart-wrenching to see him become, like, super-duper corrupted and, like... Meet his full potential. Like, yeah, like, his skin starts getting all nasty and, like, it's like, ugh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just... Corrupt. Like, yeah, it's, it's, Yeah, it, it was able to pull that... that that heart streak from was like no Tommy it's not you yeah. mm -hmm. but then then the peak ranger storyline yeah. during that was crazy ranger slayer yeah yeah, yeah. and then we crazy. we get the the necessary evil arc yeah. mm -hmm. the Alta, uh, altarian war altar mm -hmm. war mm -hmm. even now it's the, the so for those of you guys who haven't kept up with uh, boom studios power rangers and all their other little branch off stories and comics it's about to come to an end in the next couple of a uh, couple of issues mm -hmm. so thank you for that this is a mod and a and a thank you for everything you've done in the comics we're excited to see what else is coming out uh, as, a, as a franchise or spin-offs spin-offs maybe you guys watch this video and maybe you guys are like you know what those guys are onto something and we should listen to them and give them an animated film i vote animated film for yeah because for Power Rangers. Cool. Of live action they're just let's be honest they're gonna ruin it I netflix think, yeah. was, net, it was something something was in the worst with netflix something happened and now there's no more netflix and now and i believe it's because they wanted to go a darker tone yeah yeah uh, and also i think because you know rest in peace jdf jdf 
JDF. Yeah, not having JDF definitely probably hurt the franchise the as a whole. Yeah, yeah sure. he's the freaking image. Yeah, he's yeah. the guy. So yeah, you know, that's what a great guy. Probably. What a great guy. Um, personally, I think uh, I think a live action could work. I think with a lot of the stuff that we see, like if we were to pull stuff from other movies, right? Like where the mega where the mega source look like Transformers, and then like the uh, the people kind of feel like uh, the superhero people that we've seen in like Marvel and DC stuff as of late, like that tech like the stuff that they are doing in cg technology to make that stuff look good has only gotten better so yeah it it being in live action could work i think a company just needs to spend a bunch of fucking money on it and then show us a trailer that will look cool and then people are gonna go see it like i feel like um it's not that hard yeah i feel like it's fan films are doing amazing jobs with right. super low budgets i feel like it's a lot easier to say that it would be better animated because obviously if you get a a talented studio with a really good art direction any animated product it's gonna be really good like you know what I'm saying like if you just pick a good studio give it to them and make sure that they have good quality animation yeah. like uh, when we were talking about uh, Batman Beyond and the people that did Spider-Man yeah. like if, if you give that studio any franchise like I'm telling you it's gonna be amazing like, they you know have my full like, confidence that's, that's what I'm saying also like, the, uh, the studio that did the uh uh, Blood of Zeus uh, series on oh, Netflix. Yeah. And that like, animation style with Power Rangers. Yeah. Wow. Or the, the, Netflix has some of the dopest studios yeah. that are not getting enough recognition right the now, Castlevania man. Castlevania people. Yeah. Same studio. Well, no. Yeah. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Studio. Studio. Yeah. Um, but Ooh, the Castlevania that. people, if they got a hold of any franchise, I don't care what it is, that's gonna slap. Like they just the studio is just too good. Um, yeah, I feel really like is. I feel like in live action though, if you just focused on giving this product enough money. Like if you threw, not, it's not just the money, but give it, it's, it's, give it love, man. Yeah, I, that's fair. Give yeah. it to the, 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 the attention to detail how they gave the, the Lord of the Ring movies. Right. That thing was meticulous. Well, I think the, from the background actors to the setup yeah. to the writing, if you give them that time and effort yeah. and money and anime, per, perhaps, I perhaps. Think, I think, uh, because Power Rangers is a Hasbro property now, kind of, um, I feel like if you just gave it the money that Transformers got, I think you make a good movie. Like, I don't think, I don't even really think that you need, like, some crazy director that's gonna, like, you know nah. what I'm saying, read every comic and go, to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think, I think, like, the first three Transformers movies, we were locked in, and that story made no sense at all, bro. They were, they were, like, changing bro. the story after every, uh, after every one, and we was just sitting there with popcorn, like, Dude. Prequel, Damn, prequel story, I'm prequel story. Crazy. <laughs> I am not even Megan Fox. That's how I got. No, it. yeah, fair, but I'm saying like you could so, do the so, same thing. So, like, would you say Michael Bay would be a good? Uh, I'm not saying for I'm, Power Rangers. No. I'm not saying any one director. I'm just saying like it doesn't take much because Michael Bay ain't no super big Transformers head. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he he probably watched Transformers in the '80s or, or like G1 Transformers once and was like i could probably do this you know what i'm saying like <laughs> you know what i'm saying and this just made it cool and people were like yeah this is sick whatever i don't care you know what i'm saying like Bro, so, no, and i think with me. power rangers it's a lot easier to do because one of the things that those studios tend to do is like focus on the human characters which i hate but when they made ninja turtles they did that like the the bad ninja turtles movie mm -hmm. and then when they made all the transformers movies it was focused around the people and not the transformers which that's making sense in power rangers though you have the luxury of it like you can focus on the people because they're the people like moving the zone yeah so, you know I, I feel they did that but they did that in the way with the reboot right in the early in the uh what was it 2016 I 2016 think it was. right mm -hmm. naomi sky becky g so on mm. and so forth um brian cranston um that movie has so much potential man i just don't think it had the budget dude like i think no, that's the, i don't even think it didn't act it had the budget, bro, because if you think about it, even JDF was marketing it. All the other Rangers were marketing it. Yeah, but Brian Holland, Saban mm -hmm. is a multi-millionaire, multi-billionaire. Like, he has the, the funds. They just made a movie that wasn't... They, they try to reimagine the series mm -hmm. as though it was broken. Yeah. It wasn't broken. Like, I understand why people are like, oh, if we make the same thing again, people aren't going to watch it. No, no, you're wrong. We will watch it because we know it. Yeah. Like... Well, the, I personally didn't like the suits, and this yeah. is like a like a rant yeah, kind of rant. Right, right. But that that's important, man. Yeah, that's important Too because alien, like. yeah, like to, yes, um, for the new generation, that's their Power Rangers. Cool, you're wrong, but to change the whole outfit, to change the whole look, it's not hard to modernize modernize a an outfit and not go super crazy and re-identify it. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm, so I'm, many so many freaking uh, like 
Concept arts and Concept stuff. Arts. Yeah. There, there, was, there was a video you, game. I sent you Your one. video no. game. Yeah, yeah. I sent you one recently. I was about to. So with the Red Ranger, just, just a little bulky, little more army, yeah. army knife. You know, Simple, knife. distinct. Yeah. The Bro. Zeo Rangers with the holographic shapes that come off the helmets and Bro. stuff. Bro! Yeah. Oh. The, 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 I guess the, the, the shield kind of just glowing up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. Like, all these concept arts. We got to find out the name of that, that studio. Like, they were developing a video game. Yeah. And I guess it just not never got picked up. Mm -hmm. But whoever's doing that, can can we put some images yeah, of that? Yeah, no, yeah. Bro, I, it I was, is gonna what be I was sick. gonna say was I'm going to put on the screen a bunch of the illustrations and concept arts from what I've seen like on Art Station and DeviantArt and stuff like that. And it's not hard to make it look cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I truly think though, I know Saban has a lot of money, but I truly think though the reason that that movie in particular failed is because they didn't spend the money that they should have on that movie. Like Power Rangers, I feel like people miss interpret how big power rangers is right mm -hmm. because it was huge in the 90s and that is very true and then it kind of teetered off but the show ran for so long because it it picks up generations like yeah. you know what i'm saying like i know little somethings that watch power rangers you know what i'm saying like i know grown-ass man that watch power, like it's from 40 to you know what i'm saying like we from, are from 40 on down every generation got their favorite and they yeah. rock with them and that's the you know what i'm saying Bingo. so if you if you truly spend the money right and get like good quality writing and good you know what i'm saying like if you spend the money on it it's not hard to make that franchise pop i don't think like that's just that's just me though it could be i think it can rival marvel doing the right stuff oh absolutely like the, yeah the, the the craze and everything yeah i like can see you, like power you, rangers being like it's like Marvel craze, and then like to the only thing the other, right? And then the only thing that's like to be in competition could be something like Power Rangers, right? Because it could be you could do it, you could build it the same way that you built uh, Marvel. How like the first four movies or first three movies are individual character films, right? So that's individual Rangers from you know or Ranger teams anyway. I was um, teams, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you got like. Uh, Morphin. Uh, Morphin and then Zeo and then Space, right? Mm -hmm. And then you go. Yeah, and like, oh, we <laughs> we skipped Turbo. We, we skipped skip Turbo. turbo. Yeah. We don't, hey, come on now. Like, yeah. We don't need that. I think the, <laughs> the Guardians of the Galaxy would be the, uh, the uh, what's it called? Aqua Rangers. Aqua Rangers. The uh, yeah. Rangers of Aqua Tower, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Bro. Um, but yeah, like, and then. Time for us, bro. And then, and then after. Stay more goofy. After um, In Space, we did like the like shattered grid story i don't know how you finagle that but if you can you know what i'm saying like there's ways that you could do it to make it all fit and work and yeah. i think it will work pretty i well. mean technically shattered grid has your favorite element time travel yeah so we'll see how that goes i mean you know there's ways that you can do it i think i think it would be cool you could even rewrite it a little bit to like yeah. but i'm already thinking casting so, bro I'm so sorry so okay so are we are we more enticed for an animated film or a live action i would do animated i don't think live action will ever give us justice i have no i have no faith in these corporations that's, that's fair it's that's all fair. politics it's all i yeah there's I, not enough like they don't hire enough people or writers right. are true are truly you like, don't listen fans and if they do they're like yeah that's cute but we'd rather do this and they're like so why do you hire yeah you know what i'm saying all right yeah, that's fair. all right class take let's take a vote wow nine out of ten of y'all like this well, we're not I gonna like do that one, so we're because that person feels special let's make them feel special and give yeah. them and give the audience shit yeah i think I animated think, vote for me yeah for sure i can definitely see the animated uh the animated stuff i think though that uh live action power rangers would be such a spectacle if it was done right like it's literally it could be the biggest thing ever dude like it's literally it pacific really rim you know what i'm saying like like pacific rim how big that was when it first popped like that was like a billion dollar movie or something like that like that movie plus the character of a marvel movie like i feel like if you mix that that would be and the new technology or exactly the newer Bro, technology but, but specifically like where we all agree shattered grid should be the first one uh, yeah, I mean, art. if you did another Mighty Morphin movie, I feel like it wouldn't be the end of the world. Like, people, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it was good, people would latch onto it, and then you could do Shadow Grey right for that. Yeah, I mean, you I think you do that. Then yeah. you could do the prequel, uh, the Altar War. Yeah. And then go from there. From and then the show all the different Rangers and, you know, kind of combine yeah, it back yeah, up yeah. to. Or maybe that's what you do. Maybe you do, like, regular, uh, like, regular seasons, right? As movies, and then you did the uh, Battle of the Grid stuff. Oh, you know what? I'm tripping. If, it do, like, if it's live action, no movies. All give me shows. Hour long shows. That'd be sick, dude. That's the way to yeah, go. Yeah, that would be sick. Netflix knows how to do those. Just boil no, it down. I, I, I'm yeah. gonna trust Amazon Prime on that. Yeah. Just boil it down. Because they gave us the boys. Yeah. Ooh, and, and Invincible. Invincible yeah. And Invincible. Amazon Prime, please. 
Snatch. Yeah. Snatch it. That's literally Snatch what it's Snatch it from Netflix. Is, All you have to do is make The Boys, but with fucking Pacific Rim mix. Like, what are we doing? Like, and then the, the whole shit's over. Like, we fucking did it. Bro, green light. <laughs> right there. <laughs> it's, let's go. But yeah, that would be it's sick. That's my, that's my first <laughs> one. Shattered Grid would be sick as hell. That fucking more dragon, dragon fucking suit would look so sick. Oh, my God. oh okay. And give him a Zord, dude. Give him the. He like, has the Zord. No, yeah, yeah. The white, the white tiger dragon Zord. That would be sick. As Force as them as together too. That's crazy. With yeah. the white falcon. She, he got all of them. Oh my God. All right. Just OP, dude. Brian, <laughs> what story arc from comic would you like to see in animation uh, format this, or live this, action? This will be li uh, live action, but not movie. Um, but uh, for sure, a TV show. Just because I think you can do a little bit more with it once again. There'll be the the new the the latest series of the Nightwing uh, comic book. Mm. Will be really, really sick. You talk about the one where he's rich, or the one after that? The one after that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because it goes more in depth to the Nightwing. You, you go into like his his family history, mm -hmm. how he was supposed to be the Court of Owls. You do that side. You get to see more of the intellect of Nightwing too. Also the relationship, you know, who's Starfire, you know, who's You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, would you cast Megan the Stallion as Starfire? Megan the Stallion as Starfire would be crazy. <laughs> but no, I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Brian. I, I, I wouldn't. Oh my fucking god. I wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> for for, uh, for someone like like Starfire, I think I would do um, what's her name? Kiki, oh, Palm even... Kiki Palmer. Oh. As Kiki Palmer. It's mm -hmm. crazy. That's a that's an odd tool. As no, I, I can see her as Starfire. Yeah, okay. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I've seen her as a storm. I do, I do like the black girl casting. Hell yeah, Starfire. bro. I do like that. Yo, why is it, side note, why is it that anytime there's like a, a different colored orange person, orange yeah. or green, <laughs> green everyone green. thinks they're we black. All associate with the black Bro, dude. the Ninja yeah. Turtles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, jo John Jones. Piccolo from Piccolo. Piccolo. What the hell? Yeah, because we take all of them. Picon is Nigerian, apparently. <laughs> like, <True. laughs> like, I don't understand. Picon looks like he would fuck him too. Yeah. 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 Oh my damn. <laughs> Leave me alone. Move, go, go. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's because, you know, cause they got sold. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think them. it's we a turban, bro. People are messed up. Yeah. How, huh, bro? Starfire or something? We take Chad, too, from Bleach. I respect that. Yeah. Okay. He could be he could be Hispanic, but we take him in there. Yeah, I think he's Spanish. Afro yeah. Latino, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dominican. <laughs> Colombian. <laughs> when we unite, we make fucking crazy human beings. Uh moral yeah. of the story, mixture is good. Yeah. Oh, no, right. I so yeah. you were saying oh. you're at your you want but what story arc specifically? The newest one he said. The newest, yeah, the newest one? line is really, really good. Okay. Yeah, the detective comics nightwing is really, really good. Okay. Yeah. You also get to see him going against uh, Bat, uh, Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause there's a little little story arc where he uh, he's has to go undercover or, or, or in a secret mission, so he's not supposed to know anyone's alive, and like he has to sacrifice. Like you have you have to be willing to like beat some of your own family because it's that important because yeah. they don't know who you are. Because you can't tell them yet. You can't yeah. tell them shit. Yeah. And so they have an epic, in the comic book strip, they have an epic battle and Bruce Wayne's like, finally admits like, yeah, you're the only one that can take take, on the take me on and do what got to be done. And he beats Batman. It's... Respect. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, it was great. Batman fans, including myself, we took that L. Nice. Okay, so are we, Brian, are we uh, are we adding this to James Gunn's universe? Or are we doing a separate thing like the the Batman movie? Um, and you, but you said I, animated, right? No, I said uh, like a TV show. Oh, okay. Like, what? It's hard because I haven't. You kind of already got that with with Titans in a way. Would you keep that guy who played Nightwing in Titans? Hell no, no, hell no. Nah. You don't like him, bro? Out of here. There's some of can... I just don't like his mentality, bro. I feel like I feel like Dick Grayson. That's not the person that he no, is. And I get that that was the okay. point of the show, but at the same time, it's like that's. I don't want to see that shit. Like I Are... feel like it's the same thing as Superman from. Uh... Dick Grayson is pretty much the. Happy better, go lucky sticking together guy. Bro. Yeah, like, it's he, pretty much a literally a better Batman. Yeah, he's Cause like happy Batman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he but he's well, with with Bruce Wayne, he saw all the issues, all the faults, and he even said he wants to be better than him, so yeah. he molded him to be better than he's him. He's like mentally stable Batman. Yes, mentally stable. Which, which is, he does crazy shit. Yeah. There's the only reason he Facts. can beat him Facts. and do what he had to do. 
True, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't. I think the only thing that Nightwing lacks is like that. Well, he has it and he's demonstrated it, but he pulls back because of his heart and yeah. because of like that killer instinct. Yeah, but like in this series, he, like if it comes down to it, he does not pull back. Yeah. Good he's stuff. like, I gotta do what I gotta do. But he's not like mean about it. He's yeah. Like, he's I not a dick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you opposed to fan casting, recasting Robert Pattinson as Nightwing? As Nightwing? Nightwing? I don't yeah. think he, I don't I don't think, think he fits as a Nightwing, I don't think bro. he's attractive enough to be Nightwing. No. Nightwing got a pretty, a pretty ass nigga, bro. He a playboy. Because he, he fucks everything. Like, if it yeah. breathes, this nigga is slow. This planet or not. Bro. <laughs> that nigga got a track I'm record. Probably, he got make, a motherfucker. I can probably make him Latino, too. True? Make the boy Salvadorian, bro. True. Make the boy Salvadorian. Quepo. <laughs> <laughs> Quepo. I'm making that count, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Bro. All right, JR, what's yeah. yours? All right, so I actually kind of going back to, to DC mm. on this one, I want to see the Doomsday Clock. Mm. Oh, that's so complicated. That has to be animated. No that, yeah. And that's got to be an animated. 100% animated. Movies, dog. 100% animated because like a we bring in, yeah, like, like part one, two, and three. Yeah. Right now, currently, DC has the uh, Infinite Crisis. Christ on Infinite Earth. Boo! Fuck the Tomorrowverse. Boo! <laughs> Not gonna talk about that. That's already been done, so we can't even erase it. Boo! It is what it is. But I, I am grateful because that's the last voice acting of the late great Kevin Conroy. Yeah. Shout out. Um, and the return of Terry McGinnis. So, anywho, that being yeah. said, Doomsday Clock. Reason being, we also get the reintroduction of the Watchmen. Right, Watchmen being Alan Moore, one of the greatest writers, one of the greatest storytellers in comic books. Watchmen being also one of the greatest comic book graphic novels ever. I think I that book. That that nice. book literally changed history as comics, of yeah. comics, man, and it made it so to that darker um, Tone. tones can be transcended into everyday kind of books. Yeah, take that little uh, that little comic book right and threw that shit right out the window. He said, "Oh, these are for grown folks. <laughs> <laughs> these are for grown folks. This is for a deeper, yeah. um, you know, just because it has pictures doesn't mean it's for kids." Right. Um, but yeah, uh, the social commentary, even relative now, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Roshak and his stuff, bro. Like, God, thank you. dude, truly a hero in my eyes. What's the dude's name? The bad guy? Oz Ozymandias or Oz What's the name? Quintilius. Yeah, that dude sucks. Quintilius? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna say Osmosis. I wanna say Why? Osmandius, I think is his name. Something like that. But yeah, that like that whole his master plan and all that shit is fucking crazy. Destroy them from the inside. I am the villain. Yeah. Yet I am also which kind of also inspired the boys with uh, uh, Highland. No, what's not Highland? What's his name? Uh, Homeland. Homeland. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm tripping out. But yeah, I think that as an animated series, um, we also get the mixture and the hunt from Batman and Flash trying to figure out what is going on. Um, Doctor Manhattan coming back and kind of just rebooting everything. I think now that DC has rebooted. Mm -hmm. The animated world, yeah. the animated verse. I think that's a good way to go into it, man. Fair. Um, it has everything I love, bro. M mystery, a dark tone, and some kick-ass action panels, bro. Michelle. Um, I say animated only because DC has a better record of having animated films. We're bro, not gonna talk young, about the live action. Young Justice, man, made so good. Oh yeah, God. yeah, so good. Get that studio. To young do it. Justice, Teen Titans, all the movies, like just. The stories are great, man. There's a, there's a few that we don't really need, like like Final Frontier, I believe. Mm. JLA Frontier, Fr Final Frontier, I think it was. Yeah. But aside from that, man. Yeah. yeah there's there's a very slim pickings on bad ones. You know what I'm saying? Like the majority of them are very good. <laughs> which which kind of tells me DC stick to the animated from. Yeah, dude, just conquer. Yeah, that. if you could, if you could, you like, could conquer that, bro. Yeah, for sure. Go, that like go that's to Sony or somebody and be like, hey, give me that same studio that did. Uh, um, Spider Man, the uh, well, they already versus... rejected, which is crazy. No, 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 yeah, but I'm saying, like, if you if That's you did Warner focus, Brothers. if you did focus like that, though, and just got like a really good animated studio, took him under your wing, gave him a bunch of money, and then was like, you do all if I'm not mistaken, that was James Gunn, also, who was like, no, we don't want that. James Gunn, know? yeah, well, because he got a plan for everything. So. Have y'all seen so, his bro. flash? No, no, 
bro. I'll, I'll send you an image, bro. I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll yeah. see. Bro, the fact that the that the people from that the Sony Studios did it, not because it was a request, it's just like, yo, this might be a real cool idea. Yeah. Did a little, a little, you know, mock up, a little, not a little completely sample, good, little sample. It looked great, and they're like. Well, I'm, I'm sure Sony put a lot of pressure on them to do something with Spider-Man. Obviously, um, the success of the movie made it to where, like, uh, Miles is their Spider-Man. Like, that's, mm -hmm. like, their guy. Um, but Sony wanted some of that Marvel money real bad, and I'm sure they were putting pressure on anybody to just yeah, make yeah. something good. You know what I'm saying? And they found right. that, and were like, yeah, we'll run with this. Um, but, yeah, super solid pick. Watch movie sick. You, uh, definitely a three-part movie, for sure. <laughs> so. Yeah, it has to be, man. It has to Three be. hours long. And uh, e even, like, what got me is, like, that spoiler, the heart, the, the heart wrench note that Bruce finally gets mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. end of that stuff, bro. I was like, all right, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is masterpiece. Okay. Sure. Right. It would be super nice to see uh, tomorrow first go away, one, because I hate it. And then, uh, <laughs> two... Um, you know, just just a revamp of, of DC in general, just to just to put everybody on the right on the right foot, like making that a real big thing, and then seeing that in theaters and being like, oh shit, like or inclu serious. including you know characters. That job. Shut up, nigga! Damn it, that was my next one. <laughs> well, I'm saying, what story arc? Like specific story arc? I don't Imagine. think I don't think for I, like obviously the newest Static Run is super good. Um, I don't think for Static though it matters as much because I like a lot of people just want to see him again. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so you could do some miles from the Spider-Man movie shit and then just invent a new story. Like, it don't really matter, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, there's what I'm saying? not enough to pull. Yeah. Well, just, Static yeah. does have a lot of lore, but it's not so well known that people would be upset if you changed it. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, lore, like, not like by actual like story arcs or whatever, whatever. Right, right, right. Yeah. All you got is the the. Uh, whatever they call it, the little explosion, and then all the yeah, people yeah. getting their powers, and that was it, right? So, um, uh, but the new static run is super cool. I like the design of the newer static. So sick, dude. The super old static, though, like the, uh, um, what, what was it? The Dakota comics or whatever it was? Um, okay, yeah. uh, the old, old comics where he had the Malcolm X Milestone? hat. Milestone? Uh, Milestone comics, yeah. The, the, Nerd. where he had the, where he had the Malcolm X hat. Like that shit, I would take that static as well, because that's just a, that's still a dope fit to this day. Like, it's mostly black. You got the Malcolm X hat on. The, the, the bodysuit and just the hat, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. it. The fitted. Sick. Yeah, super sick. Um, pretty much any iteration of Static, though, that you do would be super nice. Um, so that would be my pick for number two. Future just Static, you... adult Static with the dreads, bro. Bro. Sick. Don't even get me started. Sick, dude. The black and um, blue and yellow suit, so... A1. Yeah, because that one would, that would be super cool to see just because uh, we would finally see DC actually putting black characters on the screen instead of just making and then, black. And then to look at this game plan for people watching studios and then you get a sponsor shoe just like you did with Miles with the Nike. But you got to do Adidas. Adidas, oh my. Pumas, or New Balance. One of those the three. Oh, niggas. The Pumas. Static Shock Pumas. I'm telling you, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, that's a perfect shoe. Oh I'm giving my God, you the, the I'm giving you the game plan. Static Shock Pumas would be fucking incredible. I'll just give Blue Beetle Cortezes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Bro, the dick. So fool. Yeah. Damn. But um Static would be super cool to see. I think that would uh I think that one is uh, incredibly impressive to tag on to my first one though I know I said Power Rangers initially if you don't want to do Power Rangers like a pass bros just being a dick bag um, you can always do uh, um, the comic that I've been reading um, um, Peter Forbes no um, Bro. Radiant Black is Ooh, super good Radiant Black is good yeah Radiant Black I've been reading that a lot and it is very good it's basically just Power Rangers for adults again it's yep. not as good as the Boom Studio stuff but um, the Boom Studio the Power suits Rangers are stuff. sick but yeah the suits are so cracked like uh, the storyline is super cool the idea of like connecting to an alien to be a ranger is super cool like it's like, like a mind and like like discovering it in that way I think that would be something that you could easily do uh, you could easily give like the um, the invincible treatment where it's like an animated super cool ass you know what I'm saying like off the beaten path something on Amazon that nobody watches the first season and then everybody's like hey did you see that shit that was fire and then everyone's watching the second season type shit yep. take um, like a year or two to catch on right yeah Um, but that would be super cool if you don't want to do if you don't want to do Power Rangers and then my second pick is uh, uh Static because Static's cool Brian second pick uh, well, they sort of already did it, sort of, maybe, mm -hmm. but it's going to be the uh, Darth Vader recent volumes. Oh, oh. oh. yeah, the in-between everything. Ooh. 
Star Wars Visions, boy. Bro, the scene. So there's a scene. I don't know if y'all read it, but I have. Yeah, I've seen it. So there's a scene where he's meditating and he goes pretty much into the astral world mm -hmm. or whatever. And you the Force. You see the Force world, right? And you see his body, right? And since, you know, he has no Nobody. limbs, he has right? Force limbs. Force limbs. So his main body is, is blue or white. And, and his limbs are just... Up. Is black and red energy, and you mm -hmm. just see him tr doing meditation, freaking beating his past masters or whatever, whatever. And then that whole little panel, I, if I see it animated or even, I don't think live action is gonna be able to do it. I don't think so. But an animated version of it, A1. Would you want it like in the Star Wars Rebels kind of animation, the the, the 3D, C shit. 3D CGI, or would you want it like more of a Star Wars Visions? Like or would you want PS1 game. graphics? I don't know. Battlefield 1. I think uh, the... Star Wars Vision is the one with the, the, the Empire, right? Yeah. I would do that. Well, the Star Wars Visions had a bunch of different art styles. Yeah. It's it, multiple it, studios. It, so. It's kind of like... Uh, what's that one show? Uh, Love, Sex, Robots? Something yeah, like yeah, that? Love, Death, and Robots. Love, yeah. Death, and Robots, where each episode is a different studio. No, different no, no. Art hey, style. It's, uh, it's the one on the Cartoon Network one. The season season Cartoon 3. Network one. It was on Cartoon Network. The Clone Wars. Clone, Clone Wars. Clone Wars. Yeah, 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 yeah. That animation. Cause yeah, it, so it, Rebels. Yeah, Rebels, Clone Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bad, bad Batch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's not the... It's not the, the Bad Batch. Yo, Fuck. Bad Mother... <laughs> They're good, bro. Yeah. That was a good show. Yeah. So also, yeah. watch Love, Death, and Robots if you don't come to your house and beat your ass. Yeah. Damn. Oh, wow. Okay. Noted. Yeah, that's a great one. So that one, Darth Vader, in between, you see the struggles. You see how he goes after other Full Jedis. Mm. Um, yeah, the Jedi hunt. Mm. Yeah, the Jedi hunt. Mm. Yeah, the Jedi hunt. Mm. So good, so bro. Cracked, bro. You see his training. Oh, my God. You get to see his ruthlessness, dude. You see how lost he really is into the darkness. Um, and also, the lore, lore update in that comic. Or in that series, it gives you a little bit on Spoil. the actual uh, uh, crystals, the cyber crystals, or what are they called? Ion crystals. No, no, I think it was the yeah, Kyber crystals. Kyber crystals, yeah. Kyber. Um, and so, how those crystals are actually sentient. They're living, they're living, uh, not be, well, yeah, it's living. Mm -hmm. And so, for Sith, in order for it to turn into a red crystal, you have to force it. You have to well, corrupt, the, it, yeah. corrupt it. Or how, I love how Sidious uh, worded it. Make it bleed. Input, uh, the <laughs> Damn. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so good. Paint the town red, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see him battle. You see the the crystal fight back, and he turned good for like a few seconds, and then he's like, "No, I'm evil." You know what I'm saying? That reminds me of when like Tommy fought himself. Mm. Yeah. And I believe it was with Dino Thunder. Yeah, Dino Thunder. Where so you like, had to fight all the, all the old previous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a good like, I am the Black Ranger. Yeah, yeah. Black Ranger. That's a good pick, actually. Yeah, I would love to see that, bro. That is a really good pick. It needs to be done. I dig it. Yeah. For my pick, my final pick, I am going to go with uh, Marvel comic book uh, short run Dark Ages. Mm. Um, if you guys haven't read it, not a super popular one, but I like the concept. Pretty much something happens in the world, and now there's no more power. Mm. There's no electricity. So everyone is in the modern world living in like post, like pre-Victorian era, right? So you have a lot of steampunk influence. You have Spider-Man with like his gauntlet, right? His spider web, but it's all steamed. Mm -hmm. um, now that we have the Fantastic Four coming in, they're also in it. Um, we have Cap. We have a bunch of characters that now we have in the MCU. I think that would be a cool way to bring that story arc into the MCU. Maybe as a side project, I don't, in certain things, I think Marvel nailed it with animation, but the more recent renditions of their animation stuff, I I feel like DC definitely beats them in it. Yeah. Cause well, they're, they're not willing. Like, animation has always been really ugly. So. I don't know, uh, the anime, I'm not speaking on the animation stuff, I'm saying like just storytelling in general, mm. right? They, they play it safe because they are under Disney mm. and hopefully maybe Deadpool can open their eyes that like, you can go dark. You could rebrand Disney as a, also for grown folks. But that's just me wishful thinking. Um, make it as a live action. Uh, that's my first live action vote. Um, I would love to see Tom Holland in like a steampunk 
kind of outfit. Um, Sue Storm, all of these other characters. Uh, I think there'll be variants. I don't think it'll be those. Well, or maybe include it in the what if. Yeah, or make it. But I, I'm speaking like make it its own thing, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it its own thing. Like let's expand the what if to each universe having its own lore and yeah. having this um, yeah. series or whatever. But here's the way I would set it up. Since we have the MCU and we, you know, we're gonna have the Secret Wars or whatever. Mm. Post Secret Wars, we don't know yet, right? Mm. So maybe that could be the next event. You know, Avengers Dark Ages. Let's say there's a cataclysmic event and shatters, and the... shatters everything, and now they're like living stick and stone kind of stuff. Right. How is Tony uh, Stark gonna survive? You know those kind of things. I'll be. I think it's really cool. I always like the concept of like people who depend so much on technology. What are you gonna do now? Mm. It kind of brings a, a, a different element of like human nature, human desperation, and who knows, man? I, maybe that'll be a, a great hit. That's my vote for one one uh, other story arc. Uh, honorable mention, uh, I want to mention Saga. Um, yes. Um, comic. Yeah, that's good. Uh, turn that into a show, please. I would watch it. But don't, don't, don't do what they did with the uh, the Runaways on Hulu. Don't do that. Do what they did with Cloak and Dagger on uh, <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> the good version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine Saga on Tubi? Oh, my God. You don't even <laughs> But yeah, um, Saga is a super Saga on PBS. Super good fucking comic. Um, super heart wrench and super, you know, in your fields. So, really good show. Also, has some badass fight scenes. A lot of fuckery going on, so I, you might have to animate it, but if it could be live action, that'd be cool shit. Agreed. Brian, what's your last vote? Not no honorable or, or honorable mention. mention. Not honorable mention. I have an honorable mention, and this is going to be pretty dumb, but I'll go for it. I think I'm ready for a Yu-Gi-Oh live action. We have animated. No, I'm good, bro. I just want to see it, bro. Nah. I'm cool with it. No, nope. you're. It's okay to have your opinion. I think Yu-Gi-Oh will be cool. Give us or give us something else. Um, but I like you. Do we have a uh, Glass Samurai? Maybe. Mm. I mean, the, not the Glass Samurai. The, uh, Tom Cruise? No, 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 no. The. The last Ninja Turtles. What's that one called? Oh, the Ronin? Ronin? Yeah. Ronin. Apparently, it's in development. I know they're making a video game for sure. Yeah. The movie's also in the works. I think that is going to be a live action style. Yeah, that'd be cool. Shit to see. That would be pretty, actually pretty sick. Live action, I guess. Is... Can we get a reboot of, uh, um, what's it? Uh, Ultron? What was it? What was the story arc? What are talking about? Age of Ultron? Age of Ultron, yeah. Uh, in the comic books, is nothing like the movie. Well, they're not going to change it, so. Nope. I would say I would like a Let's that version. Universe is just MCU. <laughs> yeah, we got to, we got to, they would have to, you got to have to win a while. Yeah, no, no. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully. I MCU V2, know. baby. We're doing it again. The reboot of the MCU. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be. You got to get, uh, get rid of the current, uh, what's it called, C Disney and Marvel. C How do y'all feel about a live action Digimon? I can see Damn, that. Damn, that'd be crazy. I can see that. That's a lot of lore, dude. Let's just give us Gen think, 1. I Gen 1. For, I think for animes in general, it's so difficult to make them live action because it's so much shit, dude. There's so much shit. I say Digimon because think about it, they were a kid. This, you mean it's a it's a icky guy, right? What's that right? So it's their kids, their teenagers, now they're grown. Yeah. Each season can be them growing up a little bit. But I want tamers! What about tamers? <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Mega Man like that. That would've been a better fit. Actually, yeah, yeah, but it's a manga, and I'm. The question was story arcs specifically. Yeah. Like another good one. I I know it's one of the worst ones for Spider Man, but I want the Clone Wars. Or yikes. Or uh, I, I'm I'm okay with no, it. You know what? You know why I don't want that? Because Sony's gonna do it and they're gonna fuck it up. Bro. Can, <laughs> can we actually get like symb uh, uh, sub uh, symbiote separation anxiety? With Venom and all of them, that'll be pretty cool. Um, there's just so many story arcs that I'm just like, yo, Maximum Carnage. Yeah. That could have been successful. Um, shoot. Good old Sony. Or, or, hey DC and James Gunn, I got a real good idea. Just do the new 52. The whole new 52, just do that in live action. Just do that. I'm just saying, it will work. I'm just saying. Don't we don't do have it. the, we don't, we never got brightest day. We never got darkest night. <laughs> you can just do, you can just do the new 52. Just that, just, bro, you know, copy paste new 52. That's all I want. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely right. And Superman and Wonder Woman? That's Ooh. what I'm talking about, boy. <laughs> bro. Dark Knight's Metal. 
yeah that'll be sick yeah there's so many story arcs out there that could be so awesome but y'all choose to just drop the ball tell us what your storyline would be if you had to choose one because you were a big movie director man and wanted to make a storyline which one would you choose in the comment section below down there and don't down forget there. to always click like subscribe and share our videos we greatly appreciate it we're on all social media as always i'm jr brian Isaiah. Nerds. Peace. Peace.